Listen, I hear you. I'm not any happier about this than you are. Yes, yet another YouTuber with Mishtastic. And no, no, this is tangentially at best related to ham radio because if you have a license, you can set this thing up to, you know, use extra power and some frequencies that are not available to the general public. But look, the majority of us are gonna use it in the unlicensed side anyways, because most of the time we're probably wanting to mesh with a lot of people that are not part of our cl little club here, right? First of all, I blame Josh and Jason and the rest of them for this. They're the ones that started this enablement. However, the guiltiest party here, Steve. I did not have this before Hamvention. I was on the FOMO committee and, and, and I felt, you know, I'm gonna miss out, so I'm gonna, you know, cry in my, in my Cheerios about this. And Steve said, oh, don't worry, Carlos. I have an extra one you can borrow for Hamvention. Does it look like I borrowed it? No, no, I bought it, right? Not because he wanted to sell it to me, but because I pressured him into selling it to me because I wanted it. This is the one I bought from Steve. Thanks, Steve, uh, enabler. Uh, well, got home and w one becomes two becomes three. And the cases just came in, f ordered them uh, online from Etsy. The printer is in England and it took about a week week and a half for them to get here and here we are. I'm gonna go with the easiest option first, this one. I need to get a battery. I have a couple of 18650s here. This is a Samsung ICR 18650-20C and this is a Samsung ICR 18650-26F. Uh, I'm gonna have to look this up and see what they are. Uh, give me a second. So apparently the Samsung naming nomenclature is that this number is the amount of milliamps in, uh, in an abbreviated form because I just looked this up. This battery is rated for 2000 milliamps or about two amps. And then this battery is rated for 2600 milliamps or 2.6 amps. Uh, I'm gonna go with the bigger capacity battery for these uh, two deployments, mainly because I want the extra runtime. The T-Beam, has its pros and cons. Pro, comes ready. All you have to do is put a battery on it. Con, um, the SMA connector is uh, to the side, not at the top or the bottom, however you want to look at it. Things get in the way. The PCB is labeled positive on one side, negative on the other. Be mindful about how you put the battery in because if you're not paying attention, you can zap this thing. I tested this battery to verify. Positive is the dome end, negative is the flat end, like in your standard AA uh, you know, battery type. Of course, much bigger. And this is just a matter of, oh, you know what? I probably should put the antenna on before I put the battery on. The internals of these are known to be sensitive on RF, and if you don't have a batter, uh, if you don't have a uh, an antenna on, even though it's tiny amount of power that is transmitting it'll more than likely zap it. So have, a, have an antenna connected before you do it. And I fiddled with this a little bit before starting the video and that's the best position I can find for the GPS uh, antenna. The, that's the other thing, the uh, T-Beam comes with a GPS module built in and I don't see any other place to fit this antenna at. Does it fit down here? No, the cable's not long enough. So I'm just gonna curl it and there's a little bit of adhesive on the side of the antenna. I'm gonna curl it and then just fit it into this cavity here. And the T-beam has four screw holes, but this case doesn't have any use for them. It's a snap fit case. Uh, well, let's see, it goes that way. And of course, I don't have the display on it. So that display hole is gonna be empty. Let me get a display for it later, but for now, I you know don't need it right now. And uh, let's see, if I hit the power button, See that? Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Uh, time to flash this one. We'll do that one uh, in a little bit. Now comes the difficult case. Uh, this is a kit for a rack 4630. It's a 19,007 block with a 
rack 43, 4630 stamp on it. It came pre-assembled this way. Uh, links to all the relevant stuff are affiliate links in Amazon. Well, I had it zoomed in, but couldn't get it to focus. So let's, uh, we're just gonna have to deal with the light conditions that I have. Be mindful, the, the antenna connectors on this are labeled on this stamp. The way mine came assembled, if you use the solar plug and the battery plug as the reference, the one on top left is Bluetooth Low Energy, and the bottom right is the LoRa 915 megahertz antenna. The kit comes with these two little puny antennas, and I'm gonna use the Bluetooth LE one, and guess what, look, look at that labeled BLE antenna and let's see if I can do this without messing it up I'm not a fan of these type of connectors there we go snapped it in with my finger uh, okay and I'm not gonna use the antenna that came with the kit from Amazon because the case kit that I bought came with an external SMA something tells me that I should probably put that on first I'll be right back. I gotta figure out what size uh, what size wrench I need for this. The toolbox gods favor me. By the way, this case, you can download the file for it online, but you can also buy it from the guy that makes it or the guy that just modeled it. And it has the SMA connector keyed to the hex of the SMA connector. So just you know, find that nice there. By the way, uh, the SMA connector, eight millimeters. Click, torque to spec. It looks like I need some screws that I don't have. I'll be, uh, I'll be back. Let me go check the specs on this case online and see if I'm supposed to provide these screws. Okay, so I went back to my office and I found uh, ye bag of screws that comes with the rack stamp kit. And uh, there appear to be some in there that actually fit. Um, before I get ahead of myself, let me put the GPS antenna. By the way, this is one little, one cool little kit. Let me uh, get you closer up here. Let me see if I can get up. Hopefully that's in focus enough. But if you look at this board as it comes, it has a header for, hey, wait a minute, that's magnetized. Get off there. It comes with a header for a solar panel, a battery, has a switch up there, USB-C, and then the postage stamp, whatever, is secured in with four screws, but it is attached to the board using one of these connectors. Look at that. I don't know how well it's gonna show in the light I have in here. Focus, there we go. These are zero inser insertion force connectors. And this board has, in addition to the one for the controller, one, two, three, four, five of them. And it has supports along the way for them. So there are some, some add-ons you can put on this board that are only gonna be this long. And you can fit it here or you can fit it here. And then there are the two in here are the same way. These are short, I wanna see these are 10 millimeters. And then you have this one over here that's like 20 millimeters. So you can put all sorts of sensors on here. I'm, uh, I'm only going with the GPS one for now, but you can do more with, with Mishtastic than simply um, messaging. Let me put together the GPS. Oh, that snapped right in. That one was easy. And this is about, yeah, that's the 20 millimeter size. So I'm either gonna fit it here or I'm gonna fit it back here in the 20 millimeter slot in the back. Let me see how, where can I put the GPS antenna in this case? I wanna put it close to the top, yeah? So that's gonna go like that. That's gonna fit in here as such. And if I put the board there, it's close to the top, there's a lot of cable to deal with. But if I put it back here, it's already heading towards the top. Yeah, I think I wanna fit it on the, on the backside 20 millimeter slot. And check this out. All you have to do is line it up. So now it's lined up. I can feel it mechanically lined up and I just have to do this. Press it, clicks right into place. Let me put a screw in that. Yeah. 
and click. Torque to spec. What am I missing on here? I'm missing power. And I gotta figure out, oh, look at that. The case, I'm looking at it for a place to put the GPS antenna in the case. The case has a place. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on there, but hopefully you can. There's a, an area right there for the Bluetooth antenna. Oh, by the way, the Bluetooth antenna, uh, both of them. Uh, the, the other one that comes with the, with the postage stamp kit has adhesive on the back. So it should make it easy to just peel it there and stick it. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, get that out of the way, put aside. I gotta assemble this switch for power and this battery holder. Let me get my soldering iron hot. I'm gonna slip on a little bit of a heat shrink on this lead. I don't expect this to take much. It's a tiny wire. It's already pre-tinned. Get my solder out just to be on the safe side, but... If only they made a jig that would let me hold two wires together. Oh, wait. Look, sometimes you just gotta make do with what you got. Do you ever feel like you need four sets of hands to be able to do a, a simple solder. Switch is on, let me test the switch to make sure that everything is happy. So the switch should be on right now. We're off. Let's see, it's on the on position. Did I break the switch? No, it's just mislabeled, okay. Cool. So we go from the positive on the battery holder to the We go to the switch and let's see can I get enough of that there to make a full test full circuit test there we go and then if I turn it off nothing cool time to attempt to assemble this thing you know it wouldn't be a bad idea to know what size nut that is for the switch I'm gonna guess it's not eight millimeters I guess it's probably six. Hmm, maybe it's a seven. Could it possibly be an eight mil? Oh, come on. Oh my God. Look at that. It's also an eight mil. Well, wonders never cease. And then it's in the off position right now. So I need, that matters to me because I care about the orientation of the switch in the case. Oh, you know what? I should probably heat shrink this. There we go. And I'm not gonna get the heat shrink gun out just for this. I'm just gonna, something I didn't test that I should have. <laughs> Continuity from the negative all the way to the negative. Better now than later, right? Okay, we have continuity. Now we are ready to assemble, man. <laughs> this little switch has a tab and they even made an indent for the tab in the case design. I like it. One more bite in there and go click. Right, let's torque the spec now. I hate these IPX, IPEX connectors. I like that that kit came with every possible screw I could possibly need for putting it together. The tolerances on this case are awesome. There's enough, there's enough engagement on the screw that I know I'm getting it secure and not so much that I have to force my way through threading it in, because you know, those pockets were not threaded. There are days when I wish I had a 3D printer, but most days I'm really happy I don't, because I don't have time for yet another thing. Put that all in and I didn't verify that. Oh yeah, okay, cool. We have access to the reset button, USB-C char for charging and programming. I think that's the only button that we have on this uh, entire case. There's no room in here for the GPS antenna. Yeah, nope, there's no room there, so. Instead of gluing it in place somewhere, I'm just gonna kind of find it a home. Problem is that there's not enough clearance to give it a home. And I don't wanna short out the switch. Will it fit in between the switch and the antenna? Here we go. And then we're gonna put the battery connector. By the way, this is keyed. So there's a key on the top of it so that you can only put it one way and not give it the incorrect polarity. Hindsight being what it is, I should have put that together before I th screwed the case, the, the PCB into the case. That should be good now. And now I'm gonna take the adhesive, 
protector off on the Bluetooth antenna. I'm stick it where it has its own little home there. Both of those are there. Let me put one of the 26, right? Yeah, and that's the head. That's positive over there. So we're gonna... And then the rest of this is window dressing. Almost. Doesn't quite click there. I'm sure it has to do with however I laid the wires. For now, it's good enough. And part of the kit that I bought has this extended higher gain antenna. I will tell you that, see, this is a TX 915 JKD20. I don't know if you're gonna be able to read that on there. Take a picture of it and insert it if I can. But here we go, turn it on. Oh, can't see the LEDs. Pop it open. Yep, the LED is barely visible there, but you can see it flashing. There you go. So now, reach through the port. There we go. And we're on. Let's try that lid again. These are very snug fit lids on both of these cases. Yeah, that one snapped all the way through now. I'm sure it had to do with the cables. Here we go. Two Meshtastic nodes ready. Zoom out, Carlos. Two Meshtastic nodes ready. I gotta flash them. This one has already been flashed, although I'm sure that's gotta be a newer, a newer version of it by now. Uh, we'll do that on a different video. Maybe not even, because you guys have seen that in other places. I hadn't seen this case and uh, set up before in either one of those. For that matter, on this one either, but this one came pre-assembled for me, so I'm not messing with it. Or am I? If you all want to see the inside of this one, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll shoot a short video about it. Catch you guys in the next one. 7-3.